Hi everybody, um, today we'll be learning about a clownfish and their habitat. Um, this is a, um, a stuffed animal of a clownfish, a real clownfish. Um, uh, a habitat of a clownfish, um, they like they like to be close to the equator. Um, they live next to Australia. Um, th um, they are most common in this red dot here. Um, they're just most common. They're not, they're not all there. Clownfish are commonly found in the Australia Great Barrier Coral Reef. They, again, they are um, most found next to Australia in the um, yellow there are many different animals in the coral reef. It's so beautiful and has coral and all the different fish and it's very beautiful. Um, in the in the coral reef, the clownfish has a best friend. Can you guess who it is? It's a sea enemy. It's how you know it's a sea enemy is because the clownfish like being in it and um, it's good because you can see the um, you can see the tentacles. Um, a clownfish has a symbiotic relationship with the sea enemy, but not all symbiotic is a thing. There's different kinds of symbiotic. Like, for example, there is um, this mosquito is a symbiotic relationship with people, but it's a very annoying because it takes your blood and it's very itchy and it's so annoying. Again, this is a symbiotic relationship. Um, it's this tree doesn't even care that this bird maybe might make a hundred more birds in this tree and it just doesn't even care and the bird is very happy. And this um this clownfish, um it the the clownfish and the sea enemy are best best friends. It's another symbiotic relationship, but they're really best friends. The clownfish attracts um uh, like the fish to the sea enemy and when the fish um then the fish comes near the sea enemy and it eats it the um the fi um the clownfish is very a poor swimmer and it doesn't go far away from the sea enemy but when it does it um its bright colors attract other fish and so the, the fish come Oh, this there's a clownfish. Let me go into the sea enemy, and then they die. Again, the clownfish are very poor swimmers. They never go away from it. But if they do, they leave. But their bright colors attract large fish. This is a big fish getting eaten. All the tentacles stinging it. The larger fish follow the clownfish back to the sea enemy, but the big fish get eaten and stung by the sea enemy's tentacles. When the um when the sea enemy eats the bigger fish, um the clownfish get the leftovers, the little bits of food that the sea enemy didn't eat. Again, the clownfish waits for the sea enemy to eat its prey and then they eat what's the sea enemy leaves behind. Um, this is a close up of the sea enemy. Um, again, this is where um, this is where there's this little pink little pink one. Um, it shoots out when the big fish comes, and all these things hurt. It hurts very bad. <laughs> again, this is a picture of the uh, big fish getting stung by all those things. You see, all the tentacles are trying to kill it. All the trying to sting things in it. But scientists once believed that the clownfish just gets has to get stung when by the sea enemy. However, studies have shown that the clownfish needs to get stung when it's young. At fir at first the sting actually hurts, but then the but while it's little because it hasn't it has to get this mucus that covers it, and then after it gets the mucus, it protects it. Now the clownfish are protected from further harm. 
but this mucus when it covers it when it like say it goes to one of it it when like it it gets mucus all over it and it just needs um when it goes but if it there's different kinds of um, sea enemies so when it goes to another sea enemy it gets stung and it actually hurts there are so many beautiful coral reefs where this when the clownfish lives but the best way to protect them is to protect their habitat this is just the coral reef is so beautiful there's so many fish there's so many coral there's so many sea enemies Again, this is a picture of the, um, if you see the light blue, it is where it's shallow there. Um, they like see um, the um, salty water because it's near the ocean. And the, the, um, it's shallow in the light blue because um, they need shallow to survive. This is a picture of the International Space Station. Again, the light blue is the shallow and that's where they live. Um, this is a picture of Dory, the movie Dory, and if you haven't watched that, then you need to because it is very good. And I don't want to spoil it, but it's really, really good. I hope you had a really good time, everyone. I really hope you um, had a good time. Bye!